Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're gonna go to that level down there when I'm able to. <laughs> there we go. Sparkling waters for urchin shoals. Let's start. I bet there's gonna be urchins. I just have a hunch. Oh, there's an <laughs> there's an urchin and he's apparently affected by the geyser as well. Oh, they're so cute even when they're humongous. And, oh, I found that by mistake actually. I was just waiting for my mushroom there, and I, 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 I attempted to push myself against the wall, like that, to keep myself away from the urchin, to be sure. But it was completely unnecessary. And what? Is there anything down here? Just out of curiosity. No? Okay, I can live with that. Although... How fast do these fall? Oh, pretty slow. You have plenty of time to react. Tiny mushroom? Hmm. I I need that for this. Oh, star coin? I should probably keep this for the entire level, from the looks of things. Oh! Can I actually run up that water spout? That would be fun if I can actually do that. I just see the coins. <gasps> I can! <laughs> That's cool! Oh yeah, I can fit through here. Actually, I think I'd be able to fit through here with uh, small Mario as well, but... Uh, you can't fit in those little tiny teeny pipes over there without uh, the mini mushroom. Mm. By the way, um, when you're in mini form, in order to actually do any harm to enemies, because you're so light, you actually have to ground pound them. That's why I ground pounded that Goomba over there at the other spot. Ugh. But your jump is so floaty it can be hard to time that. Okay. I just gotta be careful. You know what, I'm not gonna see what's in, in that box. It's most likely a power-up, but I wanna keep the mini mushroom. I just get a feeling that the mini mushroom is what I need in this level. <laughs> Can I kill the big urchins? No, I can't. Or at least I seemingly can't, at least not without a star. Um, do I wanna go under the, under the landscape there? I don't, maybe. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, I get it, I get it. You're supposed to... Wait for the Koopa to come around. Okay... Pop them. And now when the geysers are coming up... Yeah! Perfect. And... Oh! Because I, I need to... I think I need to get in here. It just seems like something that I need to get into. Uh, yes I do. Oh, we got an urchin blockade, and it's still incredibly cute. Eh, but cuteness kills, so you must be careful. Yeah, I don't think the Y button does anything when you're swimming. I was just thinking of that as I was holding it, and it just doesn't feel like it makes you go any faster when swimming. Mm, ooh, that was kind of close to my feeties. Is there anything down here? Ah! Wait, you can actually walk down... Oh, you can walk down the wall up to that point, okay. I was gonna say, you could walk down the wall all the way there, but... That's kind of strange if you had to actually... Um... I mean, you could actually walk down a wall that doesn't exist, so to speak. Oh, I should try running up the wall. Oh, Come on, bring me back up. Wait, how did I... How did I manage to get stuck there? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if there's something hidden underneath there, but it's so tempting to take the upper route, too. Well, let's do this first, I think. Maybe. Oop. Oh, geez, that's... that's incredibly dangerous. <laughs> see, what I want to see is if there's anything down there... Really quick. Don't mind me. <laughs> Uh, that red coin thing will just only give me a power-up anyway. Oh, come on, that's that's really finicky, and my jump is really floaty. And ground pound? Anything? No? Okay. I'll just run across the treetops because it looks like it's going to be fun. Whee! Whee! <laughs> this is probably the safest way to get past this. Whoa! That is cool. <laughs> oh! Blind landing! <laughs> That's too bad. Well... Oh, I'm still missing that one star coin at the end there because I... I got it after the midpoint, so I'm actually gonna have to recollect that one star coin. That's okay, I can do that. It's no big deal, I guess. Oh, maybe I should be getting a power-up now that I know I don't actually... Uh, need to worry about staying small. 
All right. We go. Yeah. <laughs> For the rest of the stage, I'll probably just run through it on the lower route just to see what it's like. You know, just, just to show everything. Mm, come on, guys. There you go. It's a lot easier when you know where things are. <laughs> Mm, now, let's see what... Hmm. Well, power up. Thank you. This seems kind of dangerous without any sort of power up or taking the high route, but I think that's the point. <laughs> Alright, now for this. I'm going to time myself with the urchins here and see if I can get... Oh, jeez. <laughs> no! No! Oh, God! Oh god! Okay, that's fine. I, I don't really care that much about the red coins. Wah! And I got 2-2-2 two, two, two on the timer. Maybe that's what uh, gives you the pointages. Is if you get, like, certain number combinations or something like that. Because that was a special 2-2-2, two, 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 I guess. A ballerina number. <laughs> and it's going to ask me to switch out an item, isn't it? I should actually use some of these items since they're clogging up my inventory, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fine. The scared and nerves are fine. <laughs> and then I'll just use the star for the next level here for the heck of it. Dragon Eels Under Sea Grotto! So, the, I guess that's the name of those eel critters that I've seen before. They're. Dragon eels. I bet you that middle pipe is the one you go down. Yeah. Just wanted to check the others to make sure I wasn't missing some sort of secret that wouldn't be there. I mean, it, I mean it would be there, but it wasn't. And I really got you saw that star, as you can tell. <laughs> as I said before, I don't really care all that much about stars. I'd rather beat the levels um, with regular power ups because stars are. Just Whoa! You're actually a new guy. So you're Dragon Eel, huh? Are you affected? You even dance to the music! Are you affected by, um, fire flowers? I don't know. Are you just gonna keep swimming around me, or are you gonna... Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you going to, uh... Maybe it's because you can't... <laughs> I love that! Maybe it's because he can't quite get near me! Because he, he doesn't turn very tightly. Oh, I see the trick of this level. The gimmick is that you're going to have to get stuff while he is in your way. Oh, and you can stun him by hitting him in the head with a fireball. Got it! You'd think a dragon wouldn't be affected by fire, although this is a water dragon. Um, I want to check those pipes, but yeah, he was coming straight for me. Boop. Boop. Okay, nothing there. That was totally worth it. <laughs> oh, God. Go somewhere else, please. And you're gonna block the swarm of fish. No, they can go right through you. Of course, enemies work together. I don't know what the fish have against me, though. <laughs> Midpoint! Uh, come on. You can do it. Oh, it makes him actually go a little faster. Maybe I should start spanking him with fireballs. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I want that. I want that more than anything. Ah, uh, oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, jeez, don't stop. <laughs> I will get that fire flower now. I didn't care about it a minute ago, but now I do. <laughs> yeah, it does make them speed up a little bit. Interesting. I am learning stuff about the dragon eel. And that dragon eel is also very cute. <laughs> Come on. No. Oh, that was... That was just pro playing right there. <laughs> now where is the last star coin? I don't know. It looks like I'm, it's a race for... Oh man, he's faster than me. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. Probably because I've been just uh, gradually dodging him. Mm, delightful. That's pretty easy to get, just as long as you lead him the right way, I suppose. Is this something I can go in? Probably. Will he follow me into this new area? Probably. <laughs> Two of them! Um, oh, there's, now they're blue, actually. And they're really slow. Uh, oh, they turn a little tighter, that's why, okay. 
So the blue ones are a little bit different than the red ones. Hmm, I'd say the blue ones are a little bit easier to get around then. Move it, move it, move it or lose it. <laughs> go, there we go. And I got all the star coins. Wow, school of fish. I was gonna say I don't ha really have to worry about looking for stuff, but now I have to worry about fish. <laughs> uh, oh, they're breaking up a little bit. Mm, good. I don't know where he went, but I'm going through this pipe. <laughs> Yay! These last two stages went pretty clean. If this is the end of the stage, of course. Uh, yep, staircase. Oh, oh, I failed. Maybe I should wait for 111 just for the fun of it. <clears throat> like, maybe I'll see if I'll get one firework for that or something. Oh, it does give me a prize. It's giving me that classic 8 bit music. One firework. And a prize! <laughs> and good thing I made room in my inventory, I suppose. <laughs> or something. <laughs> Maybe he's saying, here you go. Anyway, uh, mushroom house, I, I guess. Just to see if there's any kind, new kind of mini-game. Mm, before the castle. Ah, oh, it's this one again. Alright, this time I'm going to watch for the Bowser one, just to be safe. So I want to... I don't want that. <laughs> oh shoot, did you actually go into place? I didn't mean to do that. Unless you're the uh, one that's two times. You know, that gives me... No, it's one time. Oh well. What is the toad icon? Come to think of it. Is Toad a special thing? I, I must see what the Toad is. <laughs> Oops, discard, star. Um, what was what was the point of that Toad? Was that like a blank space or something like that? I don't know. Let's go to Larry's Torpedo Castle. Torpedoes? What? Torpe... Oh my god! Torpedo Ted? You have returned? From Super Mario World? It's impossible. And you have burners in your castle. Well, it's not your castle, but yeah. <laughs> you get what I mean. Oh, this is gonna be kind of tricky to get through there actually while those burners are going. By the way, we got the awesome music going on again. But although those torpedoes are pretty far out of the way, it's they're not like dangerous in the slightest. Unless you, like, fall in the water! I wanted to get up there really quick, but I failed. <laughs> hmm, any more coming? No? Well, let's see if there's anything down here for the heck of it. No, I guess not. Eh. Yes, I can jump out of water. It's magical. <laughs> you have returned in all of your skull blocks... Skull box gory... Glory. Man, I, I just totally flubbed up that thing that I was going for. Can I freeze you? I can! Well, temporarily. <laughs> the, in the original Super Mario World, something's very interesting about them, is that they were never programmed to die. So, if you if you wish to, to ever like hit them with a star or something, you can only... Wait, they, one actually died there! <laughs> well, in Super Mario World, they never were programmed to die, and if you hit them with a star or something like that, you only see this sort of thing in like, uh... Super Mario World hacks or something like that, but if you do, what'll happen is the you'll actually get a ton of one-ups from them for, by doing like some sort of combo attack because they will actually not die when you hit them with the star. They'll, they'll still keep living even though it'll look like that they die, but they don't actually die. They just fall like they are dying, but they don't. Yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. So you basically combo. A bunch of points until you get a one-up with them. I don't think you can do that here because I just killed a torpedo Ted, so I don't think that uh, that bug is uh, here. Well, I wouldn't call it a bug because they were never intended to be destroyed. Because in the levels that they appear, I think they only appear in one level actually. I think it's Soda Lake. There aren't any stars in that level, so um, is that really all that's in here? Okay. <laughs> Okay, that was, that was the pipe that I just went in on the left side, so I didn't miss anything. Boop. I gotta 
race for the coins, I guess. It shouldn't be too hard. Well, I don't have to race for the coins. All these red coin things so far have been optional. And float down gently to me one life that I do not need whatsoever. Look at my life gone. I'm at 65. And this is my first run through the game. Imagine how I would be if I played this on a second run. <laughs> It, I will never see the game over screen unless I purposefully find the game over screen. You can aim that towards me. Oh, no, you don't. You only aim in one direction. In Super Mario World, I believe they aimed them wherever you were. The torpedo teds. But I see there's another section, so I didn't... I mean, I doubt I missed the uh, star coin. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go about doing this personally, because I... Uh, I guess this is working, so I'll just roll with it. But I bet, I bet you they're gonna hide one of the uh, star coins. Oh, that's right. Uh, can I freeze you? No. No. <laughs> what if I like freeze you against the wall or something? Will that? No, I won't. I thought I could like glitch kill him or something like that for the fun of it. Okay, I can see there's more level after. Hmm. Oh, do I want that? Cause I don't. Hmm. <laughs> I just, uh, where'd the coin, I mean, where's the coin? <laughs> Maybe it's up there, where that burner is. No? Uh. <laughs> uh. Turn off, turn off, turn off, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's, you have to go like, ah, okay. Because I seen this one was going inside the wall, and I thought that might be an indication of something. Alright, so that's the last star coin. Nope, oh, nope, dang. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> I was in being impatient, I guess. Well, I hope that flower is still there. Oh, it is. Voila. <laughs> and that's why I don't take power-ups, just in case I need them. Like, if if I already have a power-up, I don't like to take other power-ups, and otherwise they, uh, you know, I lose their... Yeah, you get the idea. Oh, man, it's Larry! Well, his ship, at least. In his likeness. What does he have in store for me? I don't know. We are about to find out. I haven't been having any trouble with the bosses so far. Well, that's nice wheel windows in the background there. Oh, it's just this, huh? You're gonna shoot. You're gonna shoot magic blasts. So it's geysers plus Larry being uh, a classic wand user from Mario 3, I suppose. Oh, it's actually like. Oh, it's actually like random. Uh, geyser, so that's, that might make things a little bit more interesting than the, uh, oh, than the, uh, other Larry battle where you had, I mean, where you knew things were coming. Come on, fight me like a man, even though you're a kid. <laughs> Success! Indeed he is. <laughs> the Mario series is my favorite, uh, game franchise games are uh, consistently high quality. This one's no exception. <laughs> oh, I was so happy to see Torpedo Ted return. Yay, indeed. Do I want to go to the next level to see what it is, or do I want to go... Well, yeah, I will save, but I'll see what the next level is. It's taking me to Mushroom Town, maybe? Uh, oh, it's like a foresty level. What is this? Oh, should I have done this? Because <laughs> this part's already going on pretty long. Oh, I got picked up. Um. 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 Pause. Okay, I'm gonna end off the part here. This is <laughs> an entirely new level here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.